Hi, I'm Chris, and for this presentation I am a packaging designer working for a creative agency. I like working in tools such as uh, Adobe Creative Suite and Adobe Reader, but also with some great new products from uh, ESCO Artwork. Hi, my name is Frank. I'm a product manager at Pasta Bene, a first-class spaghetti brand. I'm not using these fancy design applications. I'm using Word, Excel, Email, and to approve packaging design, I'm using Acrobat and Acrobat Reader. Chris, I need a proposal for a new spaghetti box from you, but I need it faster, better and cheaper than the last time. I simply had to pay too much for the proofs and too many errors were introduced when updating the text. Okay, so to design a box I'll go to uh, Illustrator and I already have some graphics prepared. My uh, 3D studio window tells me I don't have a structure yet, so um, I will be using Studio Toolkit for Boxes to create a box structure. In a Toolkit for Boxes, I uh, simply have to uh, specify the basic dimensions of this uh, box. I can also create other types of boxes, but uh, in this example it will be a simple uh, rectangular box. I can specify how the panels are laid out, and then um, when I'm all happy with this, I will uh, create a structure and put it in my Illustrator document. Okay, so here we are. We can nicely see the die lines in my uh, 2D design, as well as the shape in the studio window. This can, of course, also be with graphics. So now I can use Studio to add some other nice graphic elements, like this background image. I can use Studio to double click on a panel and then it will bring me there in the uh, Illustrator window. Or I can zoom in to a smaller area on my design and find that in the Illustrator document. But what is really cool is if I double click this panel here, Studio will not only zoom into that area, but it has also rotated the complete Illustrator canvas, which is nice for text. This text here is obviously uh, not complete yet. For me, staying master of the content is crucial. Therefore, I've selected all the text that needs to go onto the spaghetti box in one document. Because Chris is using the new dynamic content from ESCO Artwork, I know that anything I typed in here will find its way into the packaging design. When I receive the XML file from Frank, I will use dynamic content to um, link that content with the graphics in my design. In the past, this was done through various steps of copy-pasting with emails or uh, Word documents and always generating errors. So here is my ingredients content from the XML file, and now with this button, I link it with the um, graphics. I've done the same for the other graphic elements. So now my design is ready, graphics and uh, text. So I want to share this with uh, Frank. I will use Studio to write a PDF file with 3D design. This is a regular normal PDF file that anyone can view with the free Adobe Reader, yet it contains 3D. Let's see what Chris has sent me. It's a PDF, so I'll open it up with Acrobat Reader. And let's have a look. Hey, this is 3D. That's much better than a 2D. I know now what my box will look on the bottom, on the left and right side, on the top. So very easy for me to understand what the final packaging will look like. I can zoom and pan around, check the text. 